to see you. You like it out there? Oh, it's out west. You walk in there. Beautiful place you've got. <laughs> Have a seat, will you? Welcome. It's great to be here. Nice to be had, isn't Most it? Most embarrassing sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you about embarrassment. I understand that you have an embarrassment for me. Yes. For moi. Yes. Now, let me explain this before the audience. I was, usually on the show, people come on, they talk about the most embarrassing things that happened to them. The most embarrassing thing that happened to me mm -hmm. was your fault. My because fault. Because I was on your sports look show a while ago. You remember? Oh, yeah. The, the talk show that we do about sports. Right. right. And I did a thing about the biathlon. Does that word mean anything to you? Biathlon? You're a bit about biathlon. Yeah. yeah. I, let's show, show the clip. All right. This is from our appearance on Sports Look. Your appearance right, with Sports Look. Okay, here it is. You have some general observations on the winter games before we move on. Yeah. To well, I thought, first of all, I thought we did well in the Olympics. Uh, I thought the uniforms looked good. Mm -hmm. uh, Not a lot of medals, though. No. If we could skate a little faster. Right. I think if you could realize it's a race. Right. You know. What about Eric Flame? Eric Flame, the silver medal winner, you know, which to me is such a heartbreak thing to win the silver. Because think of it, Roy, you work, you train your whole life. You win the gold, you feel good. You win the bronze, you feel well, at least I got something. But you win the gold, the silver, it's like, well, congratulations, you almost won. You know what I mean? Of all the losers, mm. you came in first of that group. Mm. You know, you've got to tell everyone the rest of your life. The whole rest of your life, everyone's going to want to hear, uh, gee, did you trip? Did you not hear the gun go off? Or, you know, you got to go through the whole story over and over. Uh -huh. So the guy, you know, he came in silver. Now, you know what the margin of victory was? You know, it's one of those speed skating things. Six one hundredths of a second. Now, how do you live with that? You know, the whole rest of your life, every time that period of time goes by, he was saying, there, there, that's all it was. <laughs> that's it. I was skating, and then, you know, and then they have those, you know, those platforms of humiliation that they put you on, you know. Because it's not bad enough you didn't win. We want to give the impression that you're a much smaller person. <laughs> you know, that's the point, you know. I think they should eliminate the platform. you yeah. in public, yes. Have the second and third person lie naked with their hands and feet tied. How about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Let the winner stand on their faces, and maybe that would be clear enough to everybody what the final results were. Yeah. yeah. How about the biathlon? That was an interesting Oh, thing. alpine sniping. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> you combine, you take two natural, a natural combination of skiing and shooting a gun. <laughs> now, I don't know if they get these people from the beginning of the James Bond movies, but uh, it's like combining swimming and strangling a guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> just put a guy in each lane of the pool, just swim up to him, strangle him, poke him in the eyes. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, for those that don't know, Jerry Seinfeld has only one set of clothes. I noticed this. This is, is my <laughs> most embarrassing moment. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt. It's a different it's okay, jacket, Jerry. though. I, I'm sure it is, Jerry. This is my most uh, embarrassing shirt. All right, so what's so embarrassing okay, about so that? Okay, so now, right a short time after that, you were on the Will Schreiner show. Oh, yeah, Will Is Schreiner. that correct? Yes, it is. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I have what do we got here, questions. Then? And you had this interesting comment to make. Okay. Roll it, Sammy. <laughs> you know, at, the Olympics, at the Olympics, the weirdest sport of all uh, is the biathlon. You know what this is? Now, this is true. This is where you ski for like 10 miles, and then you get off of your skis and you shoot a rifle. A friend of mine said, this would be great if you were a villain in a James Bond movie. You know? <laughs> it's a straight, a biathlon. Wait, I, but I said friend. What the hell was that? <laughs> what is that? That's my whole career. It's the Briggs job. <laughs> I did say friend, though. Friend? Friend. Not anymore, pal. <laughs> Not anymore. It is O-V-E-R. Your friend's name is Jerry Seinfeld, and you can call him up right now. 1-800, it's a toll-free number for, for rent a joke, Let's basically. Let's get an opinion on that. Was that an outright lift? <laughs> <laughs> hey, sports, you're a sports fan. No, right? we're not getting off the subject so fast. <laughs> You've been ducking me for months on this one, pal. It's over. This show is over. Pack it up. What about, though, you know Jerry. <laughs> Look at him sweat. Tighten up. Tight shot. Get that forehead. We got that. Yeah, there's oh. a little flop sweat here. Let's talk about your hair. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Where? What? Is it, it curls. start on one side, go to the other? I mean, can't tell which side it's coming from, which side it's going to. But you know, it's the same clothes, Jerry. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> and I know you Christmas pride yourself grade. on trying to wear different things I'm on, on the every road a lot. I can't <laughs> shop as much as I'd like. You know, Jerry, there's nothing more exciting than the speed and power of professional hockey. <laughs> yeah, as you well know, Carlos. But, <laughs> <laughs> but often. These incredible athletes collide with some breathtaking embarrassments. They even do each other's collisions <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> they imitate the same collision in a later match. Like a moment like this. Watch. <laughs> hockey when you were a kid, right? Yeah. You were, you were a fine hockey player. We used player. to play out on the street. Yeah. You know, with a ball and our sneakers just running. Oh, right. You know, just drive each other into New a York. ball. Yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing like that where you'd, you'd slam each other into a, into no, a corner. No, like ridiculous it. sport, that sport. Just ridiculous. You baseball is really your game. I like baseball much better. I like a fat umpire. Right. I say if a guy's on the field and he's not in the game, he should be in the worst physical condition he <laughs> can possibly be in. Let the guys eat right on the field. Because mm. his wife's not on the game unless he's eating anyway. That's true. That's true. Jerry Seinfeld, one and only. Terrific stuff. Great Thanks. stuff. We're going to come Thanks, back. Uh, we're going to bring Take an anything you like out of that, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. The watch for Will on the Geraldo show. <laughs> With Jerry Firestone. We're gonna <laughs> take the name too. Take everything. Here, take the jacket. Take everything. I'm finished with it. I've done I, it. I use it on two shows. I, should, I shouldn't take the jacket. It's your only one. But you know, <laughs> we'll come back we'll with back. Jerry and animal trainer Jack Hanna with some animal surprises, Jerry. Oh, right nice. here on this show. Yeah, Jerry, shake your hand with the smells. Oh, but you smell. know. <laughs> okay. It's this is skunk. Uh, obviously a skunk. Isn't it pretty? Obviously Beautiful. it's descended. We can touch you it. You can yes. touch it, but don't, don't get slob on your hand because a skunk carries rabies, and uh, you gotta be very careful of that. A skunk? This, not, not this skunk. No, but right here, if you see the glands, it? I don't know if you've ever seen. You see it? Thank yeah, you, I, Jack. I, I Thank see. you very much. I, just, I wanted you to see. Thing, I woke up just one of my first thoughts. Am what? I gonna see a skunk no. agent today? No, I, I just wanted you to see how they spray. Yeah, I see. They how they spray, we get the general idea. I think everybody you spray. You just like walk around on your lap. You'd be fine. Oh, oh he's yeah. a sweetheart. He should be yeah. nice. Now That's he's nice sort of one. like a possum. They're they're kind of like look look a little, little like possum. A little bit like a possum, but they do they do bite. As, speaking of possums, we have to have right in here. We have to have right in here. And I'll get him out. Come here, pockets. Come on, buddy. Come on, Pockets, come on. Of course, oh. Pockets is asleep right oh, now. Man. There we go. Isn't that that is a possum. Oh. And I got to tell you, Jack, they're not the handsomest animal I've ever seen. They are, but wait till you see this. I doubt this has ever been done on TV before. Now, possums prehensile. They uh, hold with their yeah, tail. Thanks, Jack. Now, look at this. <laughs> no, I want to show you this, though. Look at, oh, look at the possum. This is where all the, if, if the camera can get close, if you kind of hold your fingers in there, you can open it up. It won't hurt you. Yeah. Go ahead, Jerry. Oh, no, sure. Why don't you open no, it up? Look, you got the metal gloves on you? <laughs> no. You see that? Look at the pouch. That's wow. Where, isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That's Marsupial, where, Exactly. Right? That's where all the babies, like 16 possums, can live in there. Wow. Jerry, you can hold yeah. pockets. It won't oh, hurt you either. You. Thank you oh, very oh, much. Boy. First time yeah. Isn't that nice? Look at that tail. That's really like, that's a... Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Uh, don't let the skunk bite the possum's yeah. tail. Oh, okay. You know, I got a bat. You very rarely... Don't have the skunk bite the possum's tail. This is it. Oh, this is, this this is important because I have a bat coming out of here. Are you kidding me? No. Can we get a shot of this? No, They're going up your pant leg. Yes, yes, they are, Jerry. <laughs> get him, possum. Get him. I want you, I want you, Jerry, to hold this rubber bat. In all seriousness, now, don't, because this bat will usually go to something that's moving. Wait a minute. Let me make sure about this whole thing. Let me just watch. Everything's moving. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little joke I play 
it's not real bad. It's funny. It's funny, isn't it? I knew you'd like that. Where is the anus on this thing? <laughs> See the, no, no. the back end of everything you've no. got. Oh my God! This, you gotta see this. this. We're really gonna eat the crickets. Oh, hard no! Oh. I got news for you, Jack. There are no crickets left. They're all gone now. Oh, well, they are. They are gone. They're all over our studio, though. Shoot. Wait, wait. Here's one. We have one cricket. Harvey. Uh, you can't see very well. Probably the lights. <laughs> I just need <laughs> tough luck for us. Huh? Well, there he is. Oh. This is a South American yeah. marine toad. And one time, you won't believe this. I do a lot of work with turtles. I don't believe that. I was. And I was working with this tortoise once, and you won't believe what happened to this tortoise. It's an incredible thing. We have it. We have the moment. I here think it we is. have the moment. We have the moment. Jack and the tortoise, which we wouldn't believe, right here. I'm Jack Hanna, director of the Columbus Zoo. Tonight, we're going to talk about your favorite subject, turtles. I just happen to be sitting here on one of the world's largest turtles, the Aldabra tortoise. This tortoise is found off the coast of Africa in the Aldabra Islands uh, in the Indian Ocean making weigh up to 500 pounds. This particular tortoise here, I don't know if his name is Teddy the tortoise or what his name is, but... <laughs> that has to be, that's the funny thing. That's the funny thing ever happened to me. Everybody, that's, the, that's it. That's, I've been doing stuff like this for It's the funniest thing ever happened <laughs> Of course, right. <laughs> oh, seriously, he, he's a nice guy. Oh, wow. He doesn't want to hurt you. Um, have you ever seen... Wait a minute. Just hold on His a wings are huge. <laughs> see how the... They can see, it. see how the tail looks like the head? Now, when a lizard like this is threatened, which it's not now, because it's not I'm not going to hurt it, it'll put its tail out, and the prey will bite off the tail. See the tail? Ow! Thinking it's the head? I've been bitten before. That sucker bite bit me. Gee. You all right? Yeah, he did bite me, though. It just scared me. Unbelievable. Jackson. So what's, what's the deal with these two? Do they like each other? Well, they're both North American, and they're both, by this time of year, start coming By the way, out. check it out yeah. where, where, where he is. He's See, not, it's dark under there. Uh, it's not oh, turtle. It's, I thought it was not turtle. You make a nice headrest for the back of your car. But I do want to give you one thing. Everybody's making fun of your old sweaters and everything. I yeah. want you to put this on your, your thing. Right? Ah, <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't that, oh, that's beautiful. It's a nice... No, 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 no. no don't, don't let him get in your hair. Get your eyes. Don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> That's not Madagascar cockroach. That's a male. Man. I've got to get down there. I've got to get down there. To Madagascar. Yeah. To pick up the He's a handsome pig. Isn't now, it? if these two see each other, what happens? What, well, the they attack the, the frog? Yeah, the frog. Just throw the yeah. frog in the cockroach. That's all we got three of those. They're rare. I'll tell you what, we're going to get it all back I'm together. I'm rare, too, Jack. <laughs> With Madagascar cockroaches, and Jack and Jerry will do it after that. Jack Hanna and Jerry Seinfeld on embarrassing moments. And it was embarrassing, wasn't it, Jerry? What, uh, the what pockets? The po what did the possum do? The pockets emptied his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for him to use a squirt gun either. <laughs> Usually he doesn't do that. You have a quick story on, well, on these animals, about, a funny thing? About three weeks ago, we were doing an artificial insemination on a black rhinoceros. And, That's uh, funny enough. <laughs> the rhinoceros here is embarrassing. <laughs> The so Ron Ostrich's tail came up and knocked the keeper's contact lens out, and he actually filled out an insurance form for 46 bucks. <laughs> and one last animal we brought, real quickly here, is a skink. And this is very rare. This is from Australia. Whoa. Look at this thing. Look at this guy. This thing is so different that if you look at its tail and its head, don't they look exactly the same to you? They do. Yeah. And that's for a reason, right? Exactly. So when the, the prey comes up to, the predator comes up to eat this thing, he'll stick his tail out, and he'll grab his tail, jerk his tail off, and this skink runs away and grows a new tail. Wow. That's a true story. Hmm. But he had lost his... No, <laughs> but that's a, a skink. It looks like a big glob of, who knows, but just as a, <laughs> as a lizard. Do they unique? know each other, these two here? No, no, no. Because this... i got to tell you, Jack, he hadn't done a whole lot since yeah. you brought him out. No, this is, this is from Africa. And I know uh, that, but it, basically he didn't need a cricket. Australia. He's there for the ride. I know, I don't know. I think it's the, I think it's the sunlight here, or the uh, light here that he likes. Yeah. Jack Hanna, it's been a, a blast having you, and, and it looks like Pockets is going, going back into going his back home to bed. Here, so it's, it's dark. It's going back to the little Pockets, Johnny. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he likes to stay in there. Uh, one thing, though, you, we have a lot of fun with the animals, but you don't ever want to touch a possum or any animal like that. 
uh, especially uh, in the fall season or even in the spring season, because they're very aggressive and they can take your finger off. Yeah, that, that was a very docile possum. You right. had him from, from the time he was From the time he was just like a size of a little worm, but, and before he came into the mother's pouch, we raised him a little dropper. So mm -hmm. but these animals, all these animals, even this frog, believe it or not, uh, can, can uh, put a nice bite on you. Take so your word careful. for it there, Jack. Be careful with it. Okay, That's nice. that'll do it. Uh, Jack Hanna from uh, from the zoo and all the folks. Uh, Sorry about your pants. Yeah, okay. it's terrific. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. Sorry about the suit there. <laughs> it's a beautiful suit. It's the only one he's got. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, you too, my Thanks, friend. Thanks, Roy. Good seeing you again. Okay. Thanks for the embarrassing moments, gang. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.